said, a few clouds for us overhead here tonight. I promise I know about the weather here. And we do have a breezy kind of night ahead for us here into the foothills and also some mountain flurries. This is out ahead of our next storm system. Not a big deal, but we could see some mountain flurries and maybe a few snow showers above 9,000 feet along and north of I-70 mostly for tomorrow. AC Doppler radar, mostly quiet for us here along the front range. We do have some mountain wave clouds. There's kind of those little waves, that little bit of a turbulent flow. This is thanks to some very strong winds way up there, about 20 to 30,000 feet up. And when those winds cross over the mountains, we get that kind of turbulent eddy, kind of a bit of a wave-like pattern to those winds, and that can create those clouds that you're seeing. Uh, I've seen a few of those pictures from Golden, from Arvada, from the west side of the metro area. If you look up, you're seeing those lenticular clouds, which are so Beautiful, but fun fact, if you're flying through those, like commercial aviation f flying through those, oh, strap in. Those are bumpy to fly through usually because they're caused by a turbulent flow. Meantime, uh, some of those clouds will continue for us here across the eastern part of the state. And temperatures right now, it is very comfortable outside with those winds out of the northwest down sloping off the Rockies. 68 for us here in Denver right now, 74 in Lamar. Not bad for the second day of the month of November. But for tonight, uh, with those breezy conditions, when you get a bit of a wind, that helps mix up the atmosphere. And that's why those temperatures will stay relatively mild for tonight. So when you get a bit of a breeze, that'll keep that colder, denser air from sinking down towards the surface. Long story short, what that means for you, it's gonna be a fairly mild overnight time period. But I mentioned those winds here into the foothills. Watch out, could see some of those gusts up to 40, maybe 50 miles an hour in some of those gustier spots. And really kind of from, we'll call it about Broomfield, uh, Westminster on west. That's where you'll see those winds a bit breezy, if not a bit gusty for us later on tonight. So Boulder, Golden, Arvada, uh, Cold Creek Canyon, some of those usual spots look out for tonight that you will have a bit of a wind for us through the overnight time period. And those winds should gradually relax tomorrow as we head through the day. Those low temperatures for tonight, as mentioned, it's overall a, a fairly mild evening. Keep in mind, again, we're now into November. Our average low right around freezing for us here in Denver. So we'll stay uh, up around 40 degrees for that overnight low temperature for tonight. For tomorrow, those temperatures topping out in the upper 60s, our average high for the first few days of the month of November in the upper 50s. So we're going to be about 10 degrees above average. We will have a bit more cloud cover for tomorrow compared to today. And that is going to be mainly due to that northwest flow, those clouds pulling in from the northwest with our next storm system, mostly staying well to our north. But notice one or two of these little dots here on the screen just could get uh, an isolated stray snow shower, a little skiff of snow above 9,000 feet north of I-70 for tomorrow, and especially tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, and maybe a gusty shower or two across the Cheyenne Ridge, Morgan, Weld, as well as uh, Phillips Sedgwick counties. Those would be the main areas where you'd have the best chance of seeing a gusty shower. Not a big deal, don't plan around it. Snowfall, if you kind of squint, you use the magnifying glass, there it is, one or two little maybe flurries at those highest elevations uh, for tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Again, not a big deal. No travel impacts expected into the mountains for tomorrow's 60s, 70s eastern plains. And overall, we're kind of locked into this quiet weather pattern because these storms continue to stay off to our north. Jet stream mostly well off to our north, and that means that here in Colorado, we're staying dry for the foreseeable future and on the mild side as well. Take a look at these temperatures we walk through the next few days. We're in the 60s, we're in the low 70s, and it's not until the early to mid part of next week. Again, keep in mind, our average high this time of year in the upper 50s, it's not until Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week that it actually starts to feel a bit more like typical November weather.